after 60 odd videos. Oh, Crondor's another wrote four days from here by my guest, Lockheed is said, thinking, anyone think of a good reason not to go this way? Uh, no. The trip was dull. With only the occasional cold draft to chill their bones as they moved through the pass, it was a relief to finally reach the more temperate winds typical to the southern coastal reaches of the kingdom. Right, so I, hopefully on the map we'll, we'll have come a long way. So we have, we're actually at Crondor now. Uh, perhaps we're going to get betrayed here. I don't know. Uh, Crondor? Where's Crondor then? I would well, let's carry on going west then, because if I go east, we'll, we'll go back the other way through the um, uh, through the pass that we've just come from. And that's another four days that way. So, hello, where's Crondor? I'm not going up there, because there's a bloke up there. I'm sure it's south. Ah, oh, the path turned. After a few minutes of travelling, the roadbed began to slope towards the sea, leading eventually through a pair of iron gates and into... Oh! And into the majestic seat of the Principality. Ah, oh, I just saw assassins there and I thought I was getting attacked. Crondor, Lockley said with a sigh that seemed to indicate both relief and concern. If assassins have been sent against us, it seems a safe bet they'll be lying in wait for us between here and the palace. What's your guess, Gareth? Do we go in or not? Yes, we do. Of course we do. Oh, music for Crondor. Gulls wheeled in the skies over the capital of the Western Realm, waving daring circles about the parapets of the palace, narrowly avoiding the prince's standards which fluttered in the salty breeze. Below, the city folk of Crondor took little notice of the majestic display as they hurried about their own affairs. So, all right, Kate, which in? Oh, look. A in shop. So what do we do then? Oh, we have to go to the palace, I would have thought. Let's go to the shop first. Let's go and do some shopping. Orbin snorted. The market district in Crondor, he said, containing his amusements. Why don't we just take all our possessions and give them away instead? The mockers are thick as porridge in there, and the local merchants hike up the prices accordingly. We would be better off buying outside of the city. I don't want to buy, I want to sell. We've got... Uh, an inventory full of crap we need to get rid of. With many of the things in the shop glittered, well, while many of the things in the shop glittered gold or silver, Lockley was travelled enough to know that the items of greatest value were not on display. Instead, they would be locked away elsewhere, brought out by the owner only if he believed that his customers had honest intentions. Oh, did we exit that? I didn't want to exit that. Yeah, come on, Owen. I've read your warning. Yeah, come on. Buy, sell. Amulet of the Upright Man. Oh, we used to have some rubies, uh. Moridal brooch, emeralds. Ring of Brandor. What? Oh, come on. I, I hope you're going to buy some rubbish. Look. Buy. Oh! Idiot. Fool, man. Right, we're, we're stuffed then. Okay. Well, up yours, matey. Up yours. Um, in palace, in palace, in palace. I don't know. Shop. Oh, there's another shop there. Yeah, that's why Owen said we'd be better off. Oh. But I am outside the city. That's outside the gates. Look, that one there. Sign of the Eagle. It's a different shop, Owen. You're mad. You're off your trolley, mate. Right, so, let's get rid of this then. Are you going to buy? Absolutely, you can have that. Right. Two sovereigns over here. Um, no, keep that. Uh, get rid of that. Yes. 43. 55? Absolutely, yeah. That was a big difference. Um, I've still got to use his left of silver thorn, yeah. Okay, I think... I think we're done. Unless he's got anything we want, of course. What? Uh, decline. Uh, no, uh, shop. Shop. Ooh, 326. What can you buy for 326? Well, 
what we need is some good offensive um, spells for Owen. Hmm, because there's not a lot here that's any use to us, really. Uh, let's see what this other bloke had. So, shop, 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 shop. Any of our shops? That's just that shop, right? Okay. What's down there? Nothing there. Nope. Shop. Shop. The market district in Crondor. Yes, Owen, we're going to the market district in Crondor again. Um, we're in a Prandor that does light, doesn't it? Amulet of the Upright Man. Oh, we can't afford it anyway. Virtue Keeper, we've got loads of keys. Dragonstone, we've got. What's the Ring of the Golden Way? The ring was a simple, unadored band of gold which fit awkwardly on his finger. Worth only a small crafter's fee and the gold used in its forging, the ring was still charming in its own humble way. What mystified him was the peculiar way it warmed when someone moved near him. Alright, oh, okay. Um, Gareth could do with that, couldn't he? You know, uh, when he's in bed with three dishevelled men, you know, if one of them sort of starts moving a bit suspiciously, the ring could warn him. Tell him to get out. Let's go to the palace. Luckily he made a face as he st shook the bars. For all the troubles he'd been through to get them all alive to Grondor, the locked palace gates simply added insult to injury. Calling out to the gate master angrily, he pounded the hilt of his sword against the portcullis. Stirred by the racket, a young man liveried in the colours of the Grondorian lancers strode out of his watch out of his watch house and squinted at them, snapping up his badish, which leaned against the interior wall. Would you get this gate open, please? Luckily, he said. We have business with a prince. Can't help you, senior, the guard, uh, the guard replied. The gate mechanism's... Boo, boo. It's a lot of, lot of text to read. Don't laugh. Can't help you, senior, the guard replied. The gate mechanism's broken. Has been since three nights ago. Unless you and your companions have a mind to climb in the walls, there won't be any getting through here until we can find the plans for the park gullies. The castle engineer is absolutely livid. Locklear accepted the news with irritation, but knew of nothing else that could be done. Could you go and get Prince Arutha from me, then? It's a rather urgent matter. Again, the guard shook his head. He's meeting with Pug of Stardock and some Shirani fellow named Malak Makala gave explicit instructions he wasn't to be disturbed unless the castle was burning down around their ears. Could you at least find Signor James? The guard cut him off with a shake of his shaggy bit head. Been missing for two days. No one knows quite where he's off to, but you know how James can be. Really, do we? Luckily, he nodded. All too well, my bump of trouble tells me he's looking for whoever sabotaged the gate. Sabotaged? The, gate, the guard looked puzzled as if the thought hadn't occurred to him. Why would anybody do that? I'm not sure, but if the thought occurs to me, I can guarantee that, that it, it has occurred to Signor James. Resheathing his sword, luckily he bid the guard farewell and motioned for his companions to follow him. I have a feeling that the only way to solve both our problems is by going through the sewers that lead beneath the city, luckily he whispered, hurrying them to the northern gate. There is a secret passage that will lead us into the palace, and I also su su suspect that the way that we may bump into Signor James is down there as well. Right, okay, so where's... okay, okay, where are we going then? Where's the secret entrance then you're on about? Locklear? I can't... S sewer! Sewer! Right, um... Okay. What time is it? Oh, I've got a few minutes yet. Let me just save it there at that point. Um... I might go to the inn. How are we doing for food? He's got nine. Oh! Loads! We don't need... Wine? Rations. We don't need rations. Did I say wine before? I don't know. My brain's going. I've been doing this too long today now. Um, south. 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 Yeah. Shall we go? To, yeah, we're going. We're going. We're going to the sewer. We're going into the sewer. Sewer. Luckily, he led the way down. Twice he nearly lost his footing on the treacherous climb, but at last they had arrived safely on the precipice of rock just below the northern gate. So a door. Too thick to allow a determined to allow a determined effort at entry, the door was probably set over the sewer entrance uh, to prevent odours from offending visitors passing through the northern gate. Enter. Luckily, he pulled the door open. Immediately, he was overwhelmed by the stench of the sewers, and he looked. 
looked back to Owen for his advice. Smells awful down here, he said. Are you sure you're ready to go in? Yes, why is it, why is it up to Owen? What's he, you know, what's he got to do with it? Oh, look. Gorath. Fifteen torches, they should do. Right, there we go. Green walls. Right, well now we're in, I'm going to save again now. Boo boo doodle -doo.